let's start with number one. So I will paste the prompt. We will see the magic together and then we can discuss it in 10 seconds. So enter, it will ask you to provide some text. I will copy any text. I will paste it here, enter. See now what will happen. This prompt will help you analyze, fix, and improve your writing in seconds. Look how efficient is this. It will show you the original text, the revised text, tone analysis, the changes it made to your text. It will help you improve your writing, understand your mistakes. It's really awesome. Just give it a paragraph, it will fix it and show your mistakes. Don't worry about the prompts, they are somehow long and so on. Don't pause the video and copy it or so. I will give you everything by the end of this video. Let's now move on to prompt number two. Let's paste the second prompt and this is somehow funny. This prompt will help you translate sentences or words into emojis. Let's say I love you as a sentence, enter, and you will see now it gets the best emojis that fits your words. This is very important in cases like writing Instagram captions and marketing, maybe writing headings, subject lines, email subject lines, or maybe Twitter threads, or any social post. You need to get the best emojis that fits your text. This will help you achieve this in seconds. Let's move on to prompt number three. Since you mentioned social media and Twitter threads, look at this prompt. ChatGPT now is an expert in social media. I need a 10 tweet thread about a certain topic. Let's say about prompt engineering. Prompt engineering. The thread should be optimized for virality and contain hashtags and emojis and it should not exceed 280 characters, which is Twitter's limit. Let's see. Look at this. You now get a Twitter thread in a couple of seconds that we can just copy, maybe fix a little bit and paste. And this way we can generate social media content easily. I know it sounds dangerous maybe, but ChatGPT is here to help you, assist you, save a lot of time creating threads and daily posts and much, much more. Let's now move on to prompt number four. When you create a blog or a website or anything, there is a task that you should do always. It's somehow boring, creating common pages, especially for those bloggers who just started up. They start searching for tools, free tools to generate privacy policy and terms pages and so on. Now we can do this in seconds with ChatGPT with this awesome prompt. Let me show you this. Here is a prompt. You just enter your website URL here, the type of your website, and then enter. And here we are. This is the privacy policy. Let me show you this small trick. You can always add this at the end of your prompt to mark down and format your output with headings. Let me copy again the same text and paste to show you the difference. You can see now we have headings, H2s and H1s. So you can copy and paste directly on your website. Of course, I prefer you read this. You want to change something and so on. Maybe the email add the date and so on, maybe add something, but this will help you a lot to generate a privacy policy or terms page easily and publish on your websites. And by the way, on each super tools, my free website, we have here the privacy policy generator tool. You can do also the same if you want. You can enter your website, your website URL and get the HTML version and text version and copy to your website. Anyway, let's move on now to prompt number five. Please now focus very well because I will reveal some secrets about using prompts like this one in number five to build an online business. Please focus. So this one is somehow interesting. This prompt will allow you to summarize any book. You just need to enter the author of the book, let's say Paulo Coelho here, and the book title, which is The Alchemist, for example. Any book title with the book author, and just now copy this prompt. I will paste in ChatGPT and see what will happen. Summary of The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Main topics, key ideas, chapter titles, takeaways and conclusions, author's background, comparison to other books, target audience, reception and critical response, recommendations and takeaway. Everything you need with this simple one prompt. Please now focus. Think about it. I will give you three seconds. 
What can you do with this prompt and similar ones? If you are following me like two years ago, I published a website called In Quick Sticks. This website is about book summaries. You can read books in 10 minutes. So here is some book summaries and self-development. Think about it. Instead of reading books and reading summaries and creating these summaries for people to read, now you can create a simple tool with one prompt using AI to generate book summaries. Let me explain more. If I copy this, Control C, I go here to OpenAI Tokenizer. This will show you how many tokens this prompt will cost. It's around 187 tokens. And let's see the output. I will copy the output, paste here Tokenizer, it's around 533. So together is around 800 tokens, less than 1000 tokens. If you go now here to ChatGPT API pricing, it is 0.002 per 1000 token. So each book summary will cost you $0.002 to generate with such prompts. How much time and money and effort you will save to build a business like this one, creating and generating book summaries. Think about it. We have a lot of prompts like this that can be used to generate or build online tools that people will love to use and it's cheap to build. For example, if you go here to 8 Super Tools, again, my website, you will see I have here the YouTube AI title generator. It's the same concept. People enter a topic here. I am using OpenAI API in the back end to generate titles. It's very simple. And soon I will show you a step-by-step -step guide how to build tools like this one in like 20 minutes and how to build a business with OpenAI API. So don't forget, subscribe and turn on notifications to get every new update. A lot of interesting things coming soon on this channel. Anyway, let's go back to our prompt. So this awesome prompt will help you generate any book summary in seconds. In prompt number six, we have two examples. The second is very important, so please focus. Now, I will get this prompt I will paste in ChatGPT. This simply allows you to generate email subject line ideas. I will tell ChatGPT as a professional email subject line copywriter. I hope you watched my prompt engineering course part one so you can understand these topics. This is called giving a lot of the model and then giving details and so on. Anyway, so my first uh, email is about affiliate marketing secrets let's say and now ChatGPT will give you some email subject lines 10 ideas this is a simple email subject line generator let's look now on example number two if you watched my video like three weeks ago i showed you how i built this new business this website using ChatGPT, this subject lines database this is a simple tool or simple website. It shows you some ideas with the formula used for each subject line. So now I want ChatGPT to generate subject lines based on a specific formula. Let's say I like this formula here. I will copy this and now go back to ChatGPT. I will tell it, please generate subject lines based on this formula. So I'm giving it the template or the formula of the subject lines I want to look like. So look now, it generated 10 general subject lines. Let me tell it again. Please generate subject lines with this formula, but about affiliate marketing secrets. You can see now I am using the formula with my own topic to generate these special subject lines. Three affiliate marketing secrets for expensive growth. It's using my own formula, which is three ways to achieve a goal, then an emoji. So you can use any formula from my database or whatever you want and tell JGPT to format your output based on these formulas. This is very important. Maybe there's a formula that's successful with you and you want to duplicate or replicate it. So you can get a lot of ideas based on the same formula. 
If you find something helpful in this video till now, please don't forget smash the like button so we can reach more people and help more people learn about these skills and techniques. Let's now move on to prompt number seven. Now in number seven, I will not tell you what the prompt is about. I want you to see this in action. I will show you three examples to see the power of such prompts and what we can get out of ChatGPT. So I will paste this prompt and in short, this prompt is telling ChatGPT to act as a professional experienced kid behavior specialist. Okay, enter. Now ChatGPT is a specialist. So the first example, I wanna ask it about something. Let's say, what is your opinion about home schooling in the AI era? Now it will answer the question as if it's a professional children's specialist. Basic example. The second example is somehow interesting. Now I want ChatGPT to tell me or extract Rosso's point of view in homeschooling. So maybe you don't have the time to read this book and you just want Rosso's point of view about homeschooling. So in this way, I can ask ChatGPT about it. Please tell me how Rosso thinks about home schooling based on his book Emil and now it will show you Rosso's point of view think about it you are doing a research or you want a specific idea of a book or a point of view for someone in a specific field we can get this in seconds now the third example is more interesting I will tell it simply please criticize this point of view and be strict and share other strong views about this topic. I know the structure is not that perfect, but the idea here is to make ChatGPT go again and see what it generated and criticize it so you can get different point of views. This is very important, especially in research. Let's see now it will go step by step again to what it generated about Rosso's point of view and criticize itself. This is a very important subject or topic in prompt engineering, making ChatGPT criticize itself so you can get better output. ChatGPT will start fixing itself in this way. I can see different prompts, different outputs and get the best out of it. I hope you got the idea. This video was the second video in our Prompt Engineering Mastery Series free course and our next session will be about integrating Python scripts with Prompt Engineering to get mind-blowing results. Even if you don't know what is Python, you didn't write any script in your entire life, don't worry. This course is for total beginners. I'll explain everything from scratch. We will have also a small part to learn programming basics. Interesting for anyone who wants to learn these new techniques and skills in 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I'll be waiting for you in the comment section below. And if you missed my first video, the prompt engineering course, go and check it right now and watch it before following up with, the, with us in this series. See you soon.